Hi, I'm Anna Vicino, author of Eat Happy and Eat Happy Too, and today we are going to be making chicken paprikash in the Instant Pot. Are you guys into raw chicken? Me neither, so let's cook it. We have here chicken thighs. I like skin on, bone in chicken thighs, and the reason why I like them is because of flavor. Shout out to my buddies at Redmond Real Salt. Uh, they make my favorite sea salt. It looks like I'm over salting these, but we're not gonna season this recipe too much more later on in it, so I like to kind of over salt. You can salt both sides if you want, and then we'll just do some pepper. Looking good, we're gonna set these aside. Let that salt and pepper just get right in there while we focus on the Instant Pot section of this recipe. Now, this Instant Pot is the basic six quart. I'll put a link uh, below in the, in the notes. So I'm gonna turn on the saute setting and it's, it gets pretty hot pretty quickly. And we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of my favorite olive oil, Villa Capali olive oil. Again, that link will be in the notes. That means it's about to heat up. So that's a good thing. We're gonna start, we're gonna let this get, it gets hot very quickly. So let's just go ahead and get, it's about uh, one medium onion chopped in there and let's get one red pepper chopped. I kinda did a loose chop on those, can you see them? Okay, so it's starting to saute. We're gonna wait for these to get a little bit soft. It's starting to smell really nice. It's starting to steam. Do I look younger when I stand in front of the steam? The answer is yes, thank you. Thank you, audience. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We would do a teaspoon of garlic paste. A teaspoon of garlic paste or minced garlic is equivalent to two garlic cloves. So if you're doing a full clove, Watch this. I'm not even gonna measure, you guys. That's about a teaspoon. So we're gonna get that nice and soft. And I will go ahead and start to add the spices. Now, we have a tablespoon and a half of regular paprika. Sprinkle this guy. Now, we have regular paprika and smoked paprika because if the whole thing was smoked paprika, it would be overwhelmingly smoky. And we don't need all that. Let's, let's balance our flavors. Let's have some restraint, shall we? Onion powder. I love onion powder in stuff. It just gives it a nice flavor base. I will use onions and onion powder because the flavor is just incredible for a stew. Okay. Um, ooh, this is getting nice and soft. So I'm gonna move it to the side and start to brown some of these chicken thighs. We don't want mushy chicken thighs when the result is done, so we're gonna start browning them skin side down. Now if you notice inside the Instant Pot, it's starting to burn, so we gotta get going on this. Clear a space for your chicken thighs. Looks like mine will be able to handle about three at a time. The recipe calls for two to three pounds of chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. Uh, that's the equivalent of about six to eight chicken thighs, depending on the size. So you're gonna have to brown them in stages unless you have a really big Instant Pot. Okay, that's looking real nice. I don't know if I, do I show it to you guys? Do I show it to you guys above? I don't know. Let's just do that. Let's move that one out of the way. Replace it with one of these. Okay, so things are getting a little heated in here, so I'm gonna turn these over. As you can see, the Instant Pot gets very hot. It wants to burn, so you gotta keep an eye on it. We're gonna put these tomatoes in. It's really going now. And then we're gonna put these back in on top of that. Now we salted it really well. At this point, if I was making anything else, I would salt it, but I'm not going to, so. Let me just turn that off for a second. My hands are nice and covered in food, which is the way it should be. Let's get the lid on this thing. Okay, so this is set to sealing. Now we're gonna put it on manual, and we're gonna set it to 20 minutes. And that's all you have to do. Let it go, do its thing. It's gonna pressurize. This metal float valve is gonna float up flush, and it's gonna cook for 20 minutes, and then it's gonna depressurize. That means it's about to start doing its thing. Go have a cocktail. All right, we are back. The Instant Pot has done its job on the chicken paprikash. Uh, 
the metal floating valve has descended. It means it is safe to open your Instant Pot. So let's do that. Ooh. Now what we're gonna do is turn the Instant Pot back to saute setting. Wait, let me turn it off and then back to saute. Let's let it heat up a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take out these delicious chicken thighs, hopefully not dripping everywhere. Got it. So we're gonna let this sit. I would cover it with foil if I were making this not for you guys. Let's see if I can put my microphone. Can you put my microphone? Can you hear it starting to boil? The bubbles are coming up. What's gonna happen is we're gonna let this boil and we're gonna let it reduce. Now, reducing means just cooking off the excess water, as they say where I'm from. I'm gonna do a little taste of this sauce. Mmm, that's really good. I wanna put a little more salt and pepper in there. Now a pinch of anything is equivalent to about an eighth of a teaspoon, so I just did three pinches. Let's do four pinches. That's basically an extra teaspoon of salt. Get some pepper in there. And just for good measure, sprinkle a little bit of salt on those chicken breasts. I'm sorry, chicken thighs while we wait. Okay, looks like this sauce has reduced pretty well. So I, it's boiling pretty hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because you don't wanna overcook it. How do you turn it off? There we go. It's hard to use an Instant Pot when it's not facing you. Start to take this gorgeous looking, look at that beautiful red, that deep red sauce with the tomatoes and the peppers and the onions. Oh, this sauce is absolutely gorgeous. By the way, if your sauce doesn't thicken up, you can use a tablespoon of arrowroot powder. Just make sure you whisk it in and don't dump it all in at once or else it will co coagulate and be a mess. And we're gonna serve it garnished with sour cream on the side. If you do dairy, if not, you could just eat it as is. This is our gorgeous chicken paprikash. I don't know which camera to look at. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Very excited to eat this one. Oh, it smells so good. Let's cut into this one. Right now, I feel bad for the crew who are mostly vegetarians. Mmm, that is so good. I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, it's rude. I don't care. I'm going to eat this. Check out AnnaVicino.com or get your hands on Eat Happy 2 to get this and 159 other gluten-free, grain-free, low-carb recipes. I'm Anna Vicino. Thanks for joining me.